Today we are going to discuss the Abbott Coat of Arms. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer genealogy research at our website. Please visit us at coadb.com. First coat of arms to discuss is blazoned gules, a chevron between three pairs pendant stalked ore. This was the coat of arms and crest of the Abbott family of Guildford in County Surrey, England. There was Richard Abbott, Anthony Abbott, who was the mayor of Guildford, Robert Abbott, who died in 1615 and was Bishop of Salisbury, who we see here, and George Abbott, Archbishop of Canterbury, and Sir Morris Abbott, who was Lord Mayor of London. They were all sons of Maurice Abbott, a cloth worker of Guildford, who died in 1606. Next, we have the coat of arms, crest, and supporters of Baron Colchester of Colchester in the county of Essex. It was a title created in the peerage of the United Kingdom in 1817 for Charles Abbott, seen here, Speaker of the House of Commons, son of Dr. John Abbott, headmaster of Abingdon School, and he was succeeded by his son Charles, who was a politician and naval commander, who we see here. Next is sable a cross voided between four eagles displayed ore for the abbots of Hartland and Luffincott in County Devonshire, England. Nicholas and William Abbots, both of Luffincott, were sons of William Abbott of Hartland, who was born in 1601. And it looks like they ultimately descended from Waymond Abbey, I'm sorry, Waymond Abbots who had a brother named William, who was sergeant of the cellar to King Henry the eighth, should say. Uh, a coat of arms borne by George Abbott, who lived in Boston, Massachusetts, who came from Dorset in England in 1728. Abbott of Bramer House in Paddington in County Middlesex. This belonged to John Abbott Esquire of Bramer House, who was alive in the late 19th century. Abbot of Yorkshire, quartered by Webster of Flamborough. I wasn't able to find any additional information other than the blazon, origin of chevron between three wolves, heads he raised schools. Coat of arms, crest, and supporters for Baron Tenterden of Hendon in the county of Middlesex, a title created in the Peerage of the United Kingdom in 1827 for Charles Abbott. Lord Chief Justice of the King's Bench, and son of John Abbott, a barber. Next, we have a coat of arms and crest granted in 1654 to Robert Abbott of London, born 1610. He operated as a scrivener, attorney of the Court of Common Pleas, and was the second son of Thomas Abbott. And here we see Robert. His arms were later displayed by his great-grandson, John Thomas Abbott, who registered the pedigree for Abbott of Constantinople from Abbott of London in 1771 with the College of Heralds. And it was also worn by Henry Napier Abbott of Clifton in Bristol, a solicitor and the son of Henry Abbott, a solicitor and alderman. Next is Abbott of Lincolnshire. Wasn't able to find any additional information on this one. Same situation here for Abbot of Shropshire. Here we have one ermine on a banding railed sable, three crescents or. This was born by one Charles Abbott, who lived in Chicago in the late 18th, I'm sorry, 7th and 19th century, came from London, England. Chevron between three inkhorns for John Abbott, Esquire of London, born 1381, a mercer. Three Beast Passant, two one and the Border Gaboni, Richard Abbotts, alive in the year 1350, a tailor of Carl's Halton in County Surrey, England. And lastly, there was a coat of arms granted to Henry Alexius Abbotts, born 1764, a retired Calcutta merchant of Black and Heath in County Kent. He was born in Constantinople in the Ottoman Empire, was the son of Jasper Joseph Abbott of Ankara who was the son of Peter Abbott, and Henry had four notable sons as follows. 
Major General Sir Frederick Abbott, born 1805. General Sir James Abbott, born 1807. And Major General... Major General Sanders Alexius Abbott, born 1811, and Keith Edward Abbott, Council General, born 1814. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com, where we offer genealogy research service. Link in the description. Thank you very much.